Let's talk about uh, the 2023 elections uh, reports uh, that we are here right now. You know, suggest that uh, the elections just might be cancelled over time. You know, several offices of the Independent National Electoral Commission, you know, have suffered a lot of um, attacks. You know, so did it really come to to you as a surprise uh, with this recent um, information? Uh, not at all. Uh, but uh, I think perhaps. As a nation, we don't really learn from history because uh, if you recall, in 2015, we had similar occurrences building up to the elections, you know, to the general elections with the then incumbent president, uh, uh, former president, uh, good luck, Billy Jonathan. You know, even uh, if you recall perfectly, uh, the election had to be shifted about twice before the final conduct of the election then in 2015. But again, eight years after, we are still at the same junction or at the same juncture as a nation tackling insecurity and barely two months after uh, barely two months the general elections, we are still talking about possibility of the elections being actually shifted or outrightly cancelled uh, because, like I mentioned earlier, we don't learn as a nation. It's not the, uh, it's, it's, it, it is actually not the constitutional duty of INEC to put uh, security apparatus in place. In fact, uh, uh, based on the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the, the sole responsibility of government, particularly the federal government, uh, is to ensure the security of lives and properties of every Nigerian. So I think, like I mentioned earlier, if after eight years, and this is something that we've been grappling about uh, from time immemorial, you know, that we are still struggling with the fact that two months to the election, uh, we are still talking about the election being cancelled or postponed. Then we have not learned, and this is this this has a serious uh, uh, dent to our uh, not fledging democracy. I wouldn't say our dem democracy is fledging now; it's more than it's, it, I think it's about more than twenty years now. So it 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 means we should have learned vital lessons on how to secure our democracy. So uh, I think the federal government, uh, without mincing what, is failing in this regard. So many INEC offices have been burnt across the country, particularly in the southeast and southwest of Nigeria. You know, uh, even though you give kudos to INEC, you know, for, for taking even the PVCs to the doorsteps of Nigerians to, to get their PVCs in recent times. You know, but how do people, how are people assured and secured to go out and vote if uh, insecurity persists? Yeah, right so I think down. the federal government needs to sit up and ensure that uh, the forthcoming election does not have any resemblance of uh, postponement or cancellation. Like you said, indeed, uh, we had like eight years to perfect all of the mistakes that we've had over time in um, elections that we have had. You know, so the commission has actually assured Nigerians that, uh, you know, come February, the elections would hold despite all of these hitches. No, and a whole lot now behoves on uh, the security apparatus of the nation, the police, the NSCDC, uh, the DSS and all that. What should they be doing at this uh, in the immediacy because of this uh, threat? Because the issues of um, banditry and, of course, attacks and kidnappings are actually just increasing by the day. Yes, um... Uh, like you rightly mentioned, it behoves on the federal government and particularly the security agencies that you've rightly mentioned, the DSS, the police, the military, and all the apparatus of government in, part, in particular to uh, put uh, the security check in place. Um, I want to give um, uh, uh, the, the Nigerian military or particularly the Nigerian security agencies the benefit of, of the doubt. For instance, uh, I think a week ago or about two weeks ago, I see the Nigerian military uh, launching Dell Sat One, uh, I think a very important technology, you know, uh, and an innovation in ensuring that uh, the Nigerian state is being particularly policed uh, from uh, the air, from the satellites. So I think this will go a long way. In in the, even though is in, in a short run, uh, I don't see the possibility of that uh, technology assisting. Uh, with the conduct of the election because it's a very short while. But I, I mean, in the long run, this is something that we should have put in place uh, a long time before now. Because I tell you, uh, the manual way, I mean, the, the like I keep, like, like, I, like I tell my friends in our circles, the 1630 ways that we, that we seem to uh, do our things in this part of the world is no longer acceptable. And uh, we must employ technology at every realm. That is just the easiest way to do things. Because when you, if, if, if even if you put on 
uh, a million soldiers across the country. Come on. Nigeria is a very big country, you know. So how how many of our security agencies, I mean, manually can man security, uh, can, can man polling stations, man the streets, and so on and so forth. But with, the, with, with technology, these things are far easier and you put less body in even on the on the on 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 the, on the on the people so i think we should employ technology there are so right. much there is so many technology out there all that right, the military Muhammad. and the security parties can em, right. uh, employ Muhammad. in order to this, Muhammad, but uh, just before uh, just before we let you go because of time now Mohammed. now with all that is happening from the foregoing with the security uh, threats as it were and um, the issues of uh uncollected pvcs would you really say or how would you rate uh, the preparedness of the independence national electoral commission for the election no, i think the, the, the INEC is preparing very well like i mentioned earlier uh this week the INEC have, have even uh launched an initiative of taking the pvcs to the doorsteps of nigerians i see the pvcs are being taken to uh primary schools uh closer to the people uh and is a is, is a welcome development because you know uh in, in in the past people have to uh nigerians have to go to INEC offices to collect their pvcs which become uh very cumbersome and a very uh, tiring uh effort but now you know uh i think the, the next one week or so INEC have announced that you, uh, people can uh go to the nearest uh probably primary schools and so on and so forth nearest to them to collect their PVC is a very welcome initiative and it behoves of Nigerians to take advantage of this uh, good initiative for INEC. All right, thank you so much, uh, uh, Mohammed Abdullahi, Public Affairs Analyst. Thanks for all of the insights that you have shared concerning INEC's preparation and uh, the, the talk of uh, insecurity threatening the post. We do appreciate your time. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.